To test out our Java file in a limited scenario, we will create a batch file called compile and run.bat. To do this, right click on either the desktop or somewhere that contains an empty space, like a folder. Next, select new text document. Rename this file compile and run.bat. You'll get a pop-up. Go ahead and say yes. And you'll notice that the icon now changes to a little to gears. I'm going to move this over. Next, what we want to do is we want to right-click on this and either say edit, or if you have another program like Notepad++ or Sublime Text, you can edit in there. I'm going to edit in Notepad++, but let me show you real quick that you can edit in the simple Notepad editor. With your text editor open, you can either pause the video and type exactly this content in, or you can go to the following URL, which is what I recommend instead. So go ahead and pause the video and then type all of this in. And then on the first area, you'll see echo off set path, the JDK set path, pause, pause, pause. Go ahead and copy this content again, which is I recommend doing this. Go copy. Go to the file that's blank, which is compile and run.bat. Paste in your content. Click save. Next, what you'll want to do is underneath the line Java C class name.java, click enter and type pause. Go ahead and save that. Next, what we need to do is we need to change the file or the location where the Java JDK is located so we can run the, and compile the program. To do this, I'm going to go ahead and minimize the window. I don't need that anymore. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the file explorer. I'm going to go to my computer or computer. Click on the local disk C click on program files folder click on Java then click on the JDK not the JRE but the JDK then I'm gonna click on the bin folder and then after that we notice that there is a file URL up here located where the Java and the Java C are located next after the word bin in the URL, click your mouse. Notice now that the path URL of the file directory is highlighted. Go ahead now and right click and copy or push the control button and the letter C on your keyboard. So we've gone ahead and we've copied that. I'm going to minimize it just in case it didn't copy. I'm going to come back to the compile and run.bat file we have and I'm going to replace this directory that's been predefined because we're running a newer version and we're on a different system. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to delete that, and then I'm going to paste the content that I copied, which was the URL. I'm going to save that, and that should be done for setting up our compile and run file.